America, I saw something in the <laughs> in, in, in the football game with Southern Miss versus the University of Texas San Antonio that I've never seen in collegiate football. I've seen games in which it be triple option, all that kind of stuff. Okay, I've seen I've seen that in Army Navy games. I've seen okay. uh, old school Nebraska teams, all that kind of stuff. Cool. It hasn't been a game where I come into the game though, and you got a team that's more so or less a traditional team. They got a quarterback. They pass the ball. They run the ball. That's what they do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have that team have their quarterback healthy. He is a third string quarterback, but he's he's been starting games in previous weeks. He's healthy. That's important. To, that's important to note too that that he's he's there. I guess. Yep. Okay. I mean, when, right. when they went uh, B formation to, to run the clock out and like uh, in the first half, he took those snaps. He took those snaps. Okay, but he took he did not take any snaps to drop back and pass. Those snaps were taken by running back Frank Gore Jr. Yep. And my young boy Antavius Willis. I was not expecting this. It came totally out of left field. And we could have won the game. We were most competitive in this game against a ranked team. We had a thousand false starts. <laughs> Bro, it was one false start <laughs> in which the ref said, "False start, everybody except the center." I That's said, right. "What?" And he and listen, he was spot on too. He was spot on on <laughs> that call. Straight up was everybody yeah. except the center. <laughs> and I'm like, "Bro, what is going on? What is William Hall down here doing, bro? Yeah. What is what did happen? Did 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 did, did Lane? What did Lane cuss this man out of practice? And now he can't get on the field. I'm like, what is going on? And yeah. we were competitive. I know. My mind was blown by it. I'm interested to see what my brother was gonna say about this one. Because this one totally caught us out of caught me. I'm gonna speak for myself first. They caught yeah. me, caught me off guard. I just thought we were gonna get blasted. Oh, wait, woo, woo. But that game was far more intriguing than I ever thought it was gonna be. Caesar, what were your thoughts on Southern Miss? Versus yeah. UTSA dog. So America, I texted my brothers in the in the group, and I, I likened it to um anybody that's played high school football. Um, you know the thought process of before they had like the wristbands with like 70 plays on it, you would run over to your head coach if you were the quarterback, and he would tell you to play, and you run back to the huddle, or he just rotate out a receiver or a running back, somebody, and that person would bring in the play into the huddle. Okay, that's what Southern Miss was doing for the entire game. <laughs> um, Wells, you know, young Minty, um, and Tavius Willis. This young man burned more energy. I'm telling y'all, he burned more energy going from Coach Hall to Huddle than he did in the actual play. I don't think we take enough account into that part of the conditioning of the game. Uh, Frank Gore Jr. had a monster first half. Unfortunately, he had to go down with injury. We really could have won that game. Like the the format, as 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 wild as it was to me, it's like well said, America. It was working. The defense was holding. The offense was controlling time of possession. They were controlling the line of scrimmage, and these direct snaps to running backs, aka just simple playmakers, was turning into positive yardage. I haven't seen anything like this. I'm 37, America. I haven't seen anything like this in 20 years. Bro. I think, <laughs> in 20 years. I think Frank Gore, Frank Gore dropped a dime to Brownlee that Brownlee <laughs> just happened to drop. <laughs> a dime. I said, what is it? We just running go routes and throwing it in. Yeah. It was what wild to see, on? man. It was wild to see. And, and like, again, if, if it wasn't working, then I would come on here and be like, hey, man, come on. What are we doing, Southern Miss? But, like, it was working <laughs> against, depending on your, depending on, like, your, your poll that you choose, 23, 15, 17, 
This is a top 25 team, legitimate top 25 team, and Southern Miss was using – and let me say this. It's disrespectful to call it the Wildcat because a Wildcat has an option off of it. Okay. This was Not old bad. school – this was old school direct snap go right and left right in the middle, man. Okay, you know what? I, I apologize. You're right. So let me get right. Let, let me get right. He let, let me get right. I don't want to be disrespectful. So the Miss comes to snap. That's all they were doing, bro. Them boys Isn't that crazy? Them boys combined had 39 rushes. Them two boys. Boys combined. Man, that's crazy. That T, mm. that is crazy. What? It's not crazy. It's Southern Miss, baby. I told you we'd be back next year. Yeah. Now we'll that we're doing that. We'll somebody, be back. <laughs> somebody, mama and grandmama going to say, you ain't going to work my baby like that. Frank oh, Gore was out man. there working. They been doing it to kids all this time. That's tough, man. Think about them South Panola boys used to run that rock 40 times a game. If Frank hadn't got hurt, all them carries would have been on Frank. That's, That's fine. Frank would have had 40 rushes. That's good. Damn. We'll find out if he got his daddy's durability. See that? <laughs> the plan for next year. We're looking ahead. We're trying to see. We evaluate. That's what that game was. It was evaluating. Yeah. It was evaluating, half quitting. It was half quitting and evaluating. It was, all right, look. Hey, man, we got number 23 team in the country. Uh, Who's doing the quitting then, T? Uh, Will. Will what? Will, Will, Will like, man, y'all just go out there and play, man. <laughs> y'all just going out there. They seemed, they, they seemed enthusiastic on the side. And they would. They, and they, and they, they were. Returned. And they were. And they were. And they, they had were. a young, young blood. Which, almost took a uh, kick return back. They yeah. were hyped off but of that. Be, like they were just like, oh. You be turned two. I see there. But this all I'm. This all I thought about watching this was what if? Okay, I'm watching Antavius run to the sideline. Yeah. The play come back. Run to the sideline. Go get the play. Come back. Now I'm in my black and gold right now. Me. That's right. That's right. Run to the sideline. Go get the play. You know. So I'm thinking to myself, oh snap! What if it's like 17, 17 with like nine seconds left? And Will Hall say, we going for the win. In Texas, we going for the win. Yeah. And Tavis runs over there, and he says, fake 32. What is it? What is it? Fake 32. What is it? What is it off of Memphis Heights? Fake, 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 fake 32 with a Georgia, Georgia backside, backside reverse. reverse. Like and your life depended on it. Like your life depended on it. And then Tavis would have read it in. I would have lost it. I'd have completely lost it. Oh, it would have been man. perfect, man. It would have just been perfect. Yeah. It would have – that would have been – I would have acted like we had – we were we were winning record. That's like we had a winning record. Yeah. That's all – I just – that's all I could think about, man, was what if Antavis was going to get this one call. We got that one sitting there in the bag just waiting on cue. And he pulled it off. It was the perfect storm, though. It's like <laughs> um, to, to, to provide perspective on it, uh, for folks who may not follow Southern Miss football like that, uh, Jake Lang is a third-string quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. So we've gone through uh, Lowe, who was originally the starter, season-ending injury. Ty Keys from Taylorsville, who was our big recruit, season-ending injury. So you have Jake Lang, a guy who um, – and this is no shot at Jake. This is just the, the facts. Jake didn't start every game at Jackson Prep either. You know what I mean? Like, like Jake came in um, and was not expected to contribute immediately. He has talent. He's a talented kid. We've seen that. He's come in, yeah, he's and when nobody expected him to play, he's come in and held his own mm -hmm. in a year where he was not expected to play. Yeah. So we have that. Respect to, to, to Jake on that. But the game plan clearly was like, we know we can run the ball. Mm -hmm. We're just going to do it. The only thing that I wish would have been different is that there was just some options off of that. Man. You know what I mean? You wasn't like, getting none of that. Like you, you can't bring in you can't, but you can't bring in Willis, who is Wills will tell you he played quarterback at his alma mater, Velma Jackson. So, freak, so he can do it. It's not that he athlete. can't do it, freak athlete. But you can't just bring him out and say, "I want you to either run it up the middle, left or right, or throw a stop." He hadn't thrown a stop route in years. Yeah, in years. Yeah, them boys combined to. for. 
Them boys combined for four of seven passing and had 19 yards in a pick. That's crazy. Frank had 33 yards. Should have been a touchdown. Yeah. Look how he, versatile he is. He, he should have had a tub to uh, to Brownlee. Yep. Brownlee. Look, okay. Caesar, you just reminded me of something. Okay. And yeah. I want to say this. I want to put this on wax. America, we know. If y'all have been watching our coverage of Mississippi football, we've been tough on Southern Miss. We have. Okay. I haven't. <laughs> me clear my name. Yeah. I've been believing. <laughs> Don't put me, hey, don't, don't put me in. Don't do yeah. that to me. In the pre-show meeting, you just were getting out on I'll be silly. What you mean? I'll be silly. What you mean? No, you no, know, no, no. I'm yeah. going to make sure the people What know. if I always said? What if I always yeah. said? We waiting on next year. When the lights are on, T has always stood back. Waiting on next mind. year. Yeah. Okay. Y'all the ones turned y'all credentials. We the really most insane. We the really most I'm going to let the people know what he said off camera, too. Y'all pulling your other credentials. All right. So T been fair on camera to Southern Miss. Okay. Right. There it is. There right. it is. Okay. 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 But at the end of the day, we love the institution that we graduated from. Sure. We want them to compete. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal. I can I can take what T is telling me and say, wait till next year. Because really, if we look at it, it's been really tumultuous. We had what? They telling me during this broadcast, we had three coaches on the sideline last year. Yeah. Okay. We went through a whole lot of just crazy stuff. The, I'm talking about my young boy Antavius. Will Hall is not who recruited him down there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the turnover been insane. That's one thing. Caesar pointed out, we talking about Lane. That's our third string quarterback. Third string quarterback. Really, we shouldn't have had any expectations a year when you when you down that bad at the most important That's position. That's true. Okay, cool. But I almost struck up the band for Southern Miss on this episode. But I did not want to start a press set a precedent <laughs> of moral victories. I didn't want to do right. that. That's right. But I, I almost played the Southern Miss fight song. Because I was at least happy that it did compete. Don't do us that. No, I'm not going to set that precedent. <laughs> but I'm just saying I was happy to see them compete, particularly the defense. Mm -hmm. Offense, that was insanity. Absolute insanity. But defensively, there's some promise. And that's how Southern Miss used to be. Yeah. The nasty bunch is what set the tone that's for the, the rest of the team. Yeah. So I think going forward, we can put on performances like that defensively, get these quarterbacks, get a quarterback healthy. <laughs> Just give me one. Give me one quarterback healthy. Imagine we had that first string guy. Yeah. With Brownlee on the outside. Yeah. And we got Frankie Baby back here. And then maybe they can put my young boy, get my young boy in some space. Yeah. He's not finna go in between no tackles. That he could do that in three A football. He he can't do that in no college football. He's not going. But I think, that. but I think Mr. Willis has has proven that he deserves reps, right? Oh no you doubt could, about that. You can put that young man in the slot next Saturday, and he can immediately contribute. Um, that's another positive you take from that. You put him in a situation that yeah, I'm sure y'all practice for it this week, but he wasn't ready for that this season because that was not the role you asked him to play mm -hmm. well now you can see that against the best that your conference has to offer through that can, he can hold his own and i and i said this in the group text and i'll say it right here he did that this past saturday when everybody on the opposing team knew he was getting the ball and he was going one of three directions and there was going to be no option he was the option for a window in that game, Mr. Willis was the option. Now, America, we know. Now, I know how comment section be. He went for 19 carries, 46 yards, 2.4 clip. Okay. That that that's not impressive. Okay. But given the circumstances, look at what we're talking about. Frankie baby came into this game. Nobody expected that. Maybe Frankie knew he was gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. Been new. But then Ant come in there, Ant might not be thinking, I'm, oh, I'm finna end up back here taking some snaps and stuff like that. 
And yeah. then, you know, I think that's part of the reason we had all them false starts, too. Oh, like, yeah. the cadence, it was different between all these different guys going back there taking snaps. Now, our offensive line just went back. We got young guys on the offensive line. It throws the whole rhythm off. Well, you, you're, you're a coach. You know how yeah. that works, man. It throws your whole rhythm off. Like, if the usual guys are not in those positions to, to lead you to success, Frank Gore on the field, even if he's in a different position, He's the star player. So when he's not there, everything is thrown off. So, you know, man, for what it's worth, they lost the game. We got it. But this is one week I'm not going to clown Southern Miss. I'm not either. They found a way to stay in a game against a nationally ranked opponent on some, like I said, on some unorthodox stuff that I have not seen in 20 years. Now, 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 do y'all think, uh, and we'll talk about this on the preview segment, okay? Yeah. We'll talk about this on the preview segment. Okay, okay. Uh, so I really should hold it to that. So, w- w- America, y'all make sure y'all turn it, uh, tune in to our like Mississippi, uh, uh, college football preview segment in which I will be asking my brothers this question, amongst other things. If y'all think going forward now that other teams will see that we got that on tape, that, we w- that we're willing to do that extensively, Hmm. During the game, not just in spots, we're willing to do a whole game of direct snap. <laughs> you gotta say it out loud to believe it, man. We're willing to go a whole game, yeah, letting running backs play quarterback that uh other teams will be more prepared and that we won't be as successful with that strategy. All right, so y'all make sure y'all tune into our Mississippi College football preview. Uh, to hear what my brothers have to say about I, that. I have no answers. T, that's what we do here. You got to put it on something. <laughs> the people look to you to put it on something, to have yeah. answers. They remind me of that team I had on the stick on the old college football in Cent- U- University of Central Florida. That's what my that's what that team reminded me of, Sad. You had Central Florida, or did you have Colorado? No, nah, it was Central Florida. Okay, okay. And it, and it was it was just like that. Some for young folks don't know what he's talking about because they ain't they ain't had no college football. They had no college football on the stage. That's, right. no that's, 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 right. that's their fault. Should have gotten here earlier. Should have shown up to the club earlier. <laughs> shown up to the club earlier. That's how I feel about it. How you go? Oh God. I love it. Well, America, y'all chime in, especially Southern Miss fan. Tell us what y'all think about this unorthodox game. Yeah, we lost. You know what I'm saying? But just tell us what your thoughts were on what you saw in this most unique football game for Southern Miss. Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.